In this Heroku showcase, we'll walk through how to customize your Heroku app's configuration so your development, staging, and production environments can all use different resources. You've probably encountered a bad code smell like this. It's bad for many reasons, one of which is the security risk of committing secure credentials to source control. Another is inflexibility. You may want your staging app to access a different storage bucket from your production app, for example. A better approach is to externalize the parts of your configuration that can change from one deployment environment to another. Imagine the previous code using environment variables instead. Here, I'm writing it in Python. Now you can set the values of the environment variables differently in each environment. This flexibility lies at the heart of config vars. By setting the value of a config var on a Heroku app, you ensure that a new environment variable is available to your app at runtime with the given name and value. And of course, every programming language has a way of retrieving these environment variables. Here's a simple app that lists all of its environment variables and their values. It happens to be written in Ruby, but again, any language will work. Let's deploy it and look at the output. Some of these environment variables are present simply because this app is running in a Unix environment. To see which ones come from config vars, we can list them. Here, we see that two of them are set, in this case, as a part of the Ruby build pack. Now let's set a new config var, say foo, to one, two, three. Every time you set a config var, Heroku creates a new release, and so your app will automatically redeploy. If we refresh the browser, we see that foo is now listed as an environment variable. We can do the same from the Heroku dashboard as well. Let's use bar this time. Heroku add-ons, which are external services that you can instantly provision and make available to your application, use config vars to specify their configuration. Here, we're provisioning a Heroku Postgres add-on. If we look at our config vars after provisioning the add-on, we see the connection URL for the database is now available in the app, which we can then use to connect to the database. Add-ons can control the value of their config vars. This is particularly important if, for example, an add-on service is migrated to a different system in order to mitigate a problem, resulting in a new URL. When you're developing on your local machine, you can create a .env file with pairs of environment variable names and values. When you run your app locally with the Heroku local command, this file is read to populate the local app's environment variables with the config vars as they are on Heroku. Config vars appear in other places as well. In Heroku CI, you can control the config vars used in all test runs, and in a Heroku pipeline, you can control which config vars are available to review apps. The show notes reference documentation on the Heroku Dev Center. Check them out to learn about config vars in more detail. Thank you for watching this Heroku Showcase.